All right, so we are going to look at how to complete a problem uh, using partial quotients. So I remember that partial quotients are using my base 10 or my multiples of 10 based on strategy of place value. So when I look at this number, I have 540 and I'm dividing it into 36 groups. I wanna figure out, can I do that 10 times? So what I wanna first think about is, if I did that, 36 times 10 would give me how much? Right, 36 times 10 would give me 360, and since I have 540, I know that it can, in fact, go in at least 10 times. So that will be my first partial quotient, and I'm going to subtract that 10 times 36, I'm going to subtract 360. Go ahead and do that with me. Again, I am going to do six, uh, zero minus zero, I know is zero. Now when I get to my tens place, I have four minus six, and I know that I can't do that. So what am I going to do? Right, I'm going to move over to my hundreds place and I'm going to borrow one of the hundreds and regroup it into my tens. So now I have 14 tens minus six tens. 14 minus six is eight. And so now since I borrowed, I have four minus three. Right, four minus three is one. So now I have a total of 180 and I want to figure out, can I go in at least 10 more times? And in fact, I know that I can't go in 10 more times because I would need 360, but I only have 180. So now I want to figure out, hmm, if I don't, about how many times could 36 go in? The strategy that I use to figure that out is I want to find a compatible number that will help me to estimate about how many times can 36 go into 180. I don't know my multiples for 36, but my nice friendly number that I do know is my 40s. And I know my 40s because I know my 4s. So I could list 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and then add my zeros. Ta-da! I have my 40s. And again, this is not going to give you an exact, but it will give you uh, an estimation to get you approximately close to 180. So I know it can go on at least 4, at least 1 time two times, three times, four times, maybe five, because I rounded that 36 all the way up to 40. But if I don't know, I'm gonna try the four because I can definitely go in four times. So 36 times four, and I'm just gonna subtract. What is 36 times four, with four being my next partial quotient? So let's see, four times six, or four times six up here, however you like to do it. You could even rewrite it going up and down if you needed to. But four times six, I know it's gonna give me 24. So I'm gonna drop the four and regroup the two. Four times three is 12, but plus the two more is 14. So when I subtract that, zero minus four, oh, I can't do that. So again, I'm gonna bar from the tens place and regroup that 10 into my ones. So now I had zero, now I have 10 ones minus four ones. 10 minus four is six and again as I'm moving into my tens place I know that I had eight but I had to borrow one so now I have seven minus four right seven minus four is three so now I have 36 left hmm about how many times can 36 go into 36 or camera malfunction it fell sorry guys <laughs> 36 can go into 36 how many times or 36 times what will get me 236. And hopefully I recognize that that's 36 times one. So since I did 36 times one, I'm gonna subtract 36 and now I have nothing left over, a nice even number. So in order to find my total quotient, I'm gonna add together the three partial quotients that I used. It went in 10 times, then four times, then one time. So just as with partial products, I will add together my partial quotients, 10, four, and one, my final answer is 15. In other words, I did 540 divided by 36 equals 15. And I can also check my work if I want to rewrite it as multiplication 15 times 36. Go through it, five times six is 30, drop my zero, regroup my three. Six times one is six, plus three more is nine. Again, with many zoos, many animals, after I've multiplied, I'm at zoos, many 
zoos, I need to drop down that zero, which represents that now I'm finished with my ones place, so I'm gonna cross that out, and I'm working in my tens place. This is not three, this is three tens, so that's where that zero comes from. Again, three times five is 15. I'm gonna do it my one. Three times one plus one is four. And now when I add that up, zero plus zero is zero, nine plus five is 14, Drop my four, regroup my one, and then one plus four. I get the 540 that I started with, so I do know that my answer worked. And again, I'm just checking it using my relationship between multiplication and division to make sure that answer of 15 was correct. Good luck with your homework tonight.